Hey guys, what's up? It's Jackintosh7, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick um, computer building tip. Um, so I'm going to be building a computer um, in a couple months and just saving up the money for it. Um, but, you know, I'm going to start giving you guys some quick tips um, and showing you how to choose your components and all that cool stuff. So um, it's not too fun, but it has to be done in order to start the building. So... This one is going to be on standoffs. Um, now, for those of you who don't know what a standoff is, um, well, this is a standoff. Let me zoom in. Um, it's a very, very tiny. Uh, it actually can be bigger. But what it, this basically does is it lifts your motherboard off of the case. All right, so as you can see, I have a motherboard here. Don't worry. This motherboard is a very old motherboard. It does not work anymore. It caught on fire. Um, so, not that actually... Yeah, um, it caught on fire, so uh, it doesn't work. So I can mess around with it in any way I want, and I don't have to worry about breaking it because it's already broken. Um, so this is a standoff, um, and what a standoff does is it um, lifts the motherboard off of the case floor. Um, so if you didn't use standoffs, you can you would just uh, take a screw and put it inside um, and just screw it into this little hole and it would go into your case. Um, well, you're probably like, what's so bad about that? Well, sometimes cases have uneven surfaces. Um, so what would end up happening is, here's your motherboard, let me zoom out. Zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. So what would end up happening is, just my camera. Um, Sometimes it could get all warped. It could see how this is not straight. Well, it could be all tilted up. This was not used mounted by using a standoff. So shame, shame on HP for that. Um, this was an HP uh, computer. But so when it sits, it's actually crooked and it's basically standing uneven. So this part might be down all the way down and this part might be up in the air. And since it's screwed in so tight, um, it warps the board. The board gets all, uh, see right here, how this is pretty much laying flat right here, but up here it's not. So that's probably how most motherboards can come like that. But if you use standoffs, um, it will help a lot because also what can happen is um, you can shorten out your board, um, so, because it's laying on bare metal, um, so this way there's some air to get underneath the board, and, uh, yeah, because you really do not want to short out your motherboard, because, um, that would just stink. So, what you actually do with the standoffs is you screw them into your case, um, so make sure, uh, I think this is a mini, uh, I, mini ATX, uh, motherboard, so make sure you have the right pattern set out for a mini ATX motherboard, and then what you'll do is, instead of screwing the motherboard in right away, all you do is just take the little standoffs and screw those in where the screws would go, and then what you would do is take your motherboard, and then mount it into your computer, and then have them laying on the standoffs, and then having them sit in so you can just screw it in like that. So here's a standoff and like that. All right. Um, now you really don't want to make the screws too, too tight because that also could mess it up. Um, it could screw up your uh, uh, motherboard um, when you're trying to take them off like this. Because um, with factory made computers, you uh, they do mass production. So... They have machines that screw everything in. So right here, as you can see, this um, was in so so tight that I had a really, really hard time trying to get it out. So um, also, when you're mounting your motherboard onto the standoff now, all right, so you're using your standoff, it's in the case. I'll be giving you guys a demo in a little bit. Um, it's in your case. Um, your motherboard's laying on top. You want to make sure you have the right screw. So... Um, what you're going to want to make sure you have is the, there's a motherboard standoff right here. It says mother MB stand. And then right here is a, a motherboard screw. Make sure you use the motherboard screw, okay? Because if you don't use the motherboard screw, look at all the other screws. This one has a weird top. This one's made for hard drives. This one's for a power supply, so it's short. Um, this one is a hard drive screw, so as you can see, it's small up here, but then it gets bigger up here. So, if you used the wrong screw, it would also screw up the board very, it will screw the board up so much. Um, so, you really do not want to be doing that. 
Um, so that's really it. I'm going to be showing you guys real quick um, on how to mount it real quick. Um, I'll probably not be talking because I'm just going to do it real fast. So, all right, guys, we'll go to my computer. Okay. All right, so here's my computer case. And what we're going to want to do is just uh, tuck in all the wires. As you can see, this case is ginormous. So we're going to want to tuck some wire, tuck the wires in to these slots. And you see these little holes right here? This is where your standoff is going to go. So the, flat, the smaller part is going to screw in like this and just screw it till it's tight all right so there we have we have a standoff mounted and once you have all of them mounted I'm not gonna mount all of them oops you're going to take your motherboard don't do what I'm doing like you're gonna want to support it by uh, something else other than the CPU fan just trying to put the wire tuck the wires in um, and you're going to want to line up the, the uh, you know, I forgot what they're called, but yeah. You're going to want to line, oh yeah, the I.O. ports. You're going to want to line up the I.O. ports with the I.O. shield, which is in the back. Um, so put that in the corner, and yeah. And then what you'll do is once you have it mounted, once it's in, you can see right here our standoff is right underneath this so that's mounted and our standoff is right there so gotta tuck this in and our standoff is right there so then what you're gonna want to do is just take the motherboard screw and just screw it in there make sure you use the motherboard screw can't stress that enough so um that's really it guys thanks for watching so um uh stay tuned for some more computer building videos so uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.